So Michael Oguche would be number 10 with that low ride. He would uh, be number 10 going into the short round. Uh, Jory Marcus would be number 9. It's another name that we don't hit. Well, we've been hearing a lot of lately. Um, Savano Alves would be number 8, last year's world champion. Chase Outlaw was 7th. J.P. Mooney was 6th. Renato Nunes was in, right in the middle. He was 5th. Uh, Chris Shivers will qualify 4th. Stormy Wing will qualify 3rd. Justin Kuhn would be the unlucky fella on the back of Asteroid. He qualified second. And Douglas Duncan with that incredible 90-point ride on the back of Heebie-Jeebie would qualify for number one in the going into the Ford Bill Tough Round. So let's get into the Ford Bill Tough Round. Marco Gucci would have Trickster. The PBI picks these bulls. The guys didn't pick them. They were already pre-picked. Depending on how you finish is when you get the bull, is what bull you had. Marco Gucci got Trickster. He just rode Trickster a week prior in Atlanta for an 88 and a half points. You think Marco Gucci is feeling pretty good going into this ride? I think so. The only problem with Marco Gucci is he had a horrible score in the first round that he kept. Well, anyway, Marco Gucci rides Trickster again. Surprise, surprise. 87 and a half points. And you know something? He had a little bit of a hard time on Trickster this time. He just made it. Uh, he almost got, he almost fell off the bull. Uh, he ended up getting the eight, the eight second, uh, buzzer and he rides him for an 87 and a half points. I think that's why he got the 87 and a half is because he almost fell off. Uh, Jory Marcus would be your next, uh, bull rider on the back of Jack Daniels after party. 1.4 seconds. They didn't even last long in that bull. Uh, Jack Daniels after party, a ranked bull. You know, all these bulls in this, in this short round are ranked bulls. But I mean, you know, it, it, unbelievable. Savannah Alves coming into the event in 10th place in the world, world standings. Only needed an 83 points on the back of Tennessee Honey. The problem is he's already tried him twice and, uh, he's got bucked off. These guys don't like each other. Well, guess what? He gets bucked off again. So Savannah Alves gets a no score in the short round and uh, gets bucked off at Tennessee Honey. Then you go to the 19-year-old Chase Outlaw. 19. Came out of the rookie. Came out of the uh, the national pro touring. You know, I told you last week, it's kind of like the PBS. Uh, Farm League, 19 years old, Chase Outlaw. He only needed an 82 and three-quarter points to take the lead from Marco Oguche. He gets on the back of two sexes. 84 points this kid scores on the back of two sexes. And you know something? He handled the bull really well also. He rode both his bulls and he, and they, he rode them really well. This is a kid to watch out for. I told you, Marco Gucci, this is his first year in the PBR. Chase Outlaw's first year. These are the guys to watch out for. Chase Outlaw, unfortunately, though, isn't one of these guys that's going for a world championship. So you'll see him in and out of events as guys get injured and they can't fill up. He's you know the, uh, the roster. You'll 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 see him come in and out. Uh, J.P. Mooney would be your next bull rider on the back of Will James. Number one in the world, J.P. Mooney against Will James. Will James comes into this thing unridden. He goes out of this thing unridden. Bucks off J.P. Mooney. Renato Nunez would be next. Only needs an 82 points to take the lead from now Chase Outlaw. 82 points. He gets on the back of Shepherd Hills Trapper. He can do it. Shepherd Hills Trapper can give you a 90-point ride very easily or a high 80s ride at any time. Well, Shepherd Hills Trapper wins it. Bucks off Renato Nunes. Renato Nunes doesn't get a score. So right now, um, after half of the guys went, it's looking pretty good for Chase Outlaw sitting at number one. 
a rookie, 19 years old, not even going for a world championship because he's still in the tour pro division. He isn't even, you know, they brought him up, uh, you know, on as an alternate. Just a kid to look out for. Then you bring it up, you got your uh, number fourth qualifying rider on his swung song, his final year in the PBR, the 33-year-old, 15-year pro, Chris Shivers. Gets on the back and it's uh, he got a bit, <laughs> he got a tough one. Get yeah, Shepherd Hills tested. He gets bucked off in five seconds. Five seconds on the back of tested. Um, Shepard Hills tested would also be your top bucking bull of the week with a 46. Um, 46 full score. So he would be your number one bucking bull for the week. So not only did Chris Shiv is really, you know, five seconds on the top bucking bull of the week, I guess, isn't too bad. Um... And you say, well, what about Asteroid? Well, we'll get into him in a little bit. Remember what I told you. I think Asteroid's uh, about to be ridden soon. Uh, Stormy Wing would be the number three guy going into the Ford Bill Tough round. He goes in the back of Rock and Roll. Rock and Roll 16-0 and 0 this season. Unridden. Not 16-0 this season. 16-0 in his career, I would imagine. He's a 16 and 0. He's unridden. Well, after Stormy Wing gets done with him, Rock and Roll is now 17 and 0. Bucks off Stormy Wing in four seconds. I'm telling you, man, some of these bulls—they're really—they're really showing that they're really showing that they belong in this PBR and they belong short round bulls. Then we go to Justin Coon, number two. Everybody saying a prayer for him. When he's in the shoots, because he's on the back of Asteroid. He's the unfortunate number two guy going into the, you know, usually you're number two, you're like, whoo yeah, I get to pick the bull that I want, you know, um, and all I have to do is wait for, uh, wait for Douglas Duncan to pick his bull, and I get to pick whatever bull I want to pick. Well, guess what? The PBI threw a monkey wrench into that, and they already picked him for you. You know, they said, hey, look, your number one bull rider is going to get perfect poison. Your number two bull rider is going to get Asteroid. You know something? I like this because it makes the guys ride these bulls. You know, you're seeing the top bull riders going into the four bill tough round ride the top bulls. I kind of like that. I, I I enjoyed watching this. This was incredible. Because you know something? Now the guy's in a different mindset. Instead of just, hey, you know something? All I have to do is ride this bull and I win. You know, now he has to worry about the bull he's on the back of because he's like, wow, this is a ranked bull. i got to make sure I ride this this cat. You know, to win this thing. If I don't ride it, I'm probably not going to win it. Well, guess what? Justin Goon gets on the back of Asteroid. His Asteroid, one hell of a ride. 6.7 seconds he gets on the back. He stays on the back of Asteroid. 6.7 seconds. Unbelievable. Asteroid was, was uh, last week, uh, bucks off Stormy Wing, but Stormy Wing was on him for 6.11 seconds. I'm telling you, Asteroid's getting close. And if you remember my interview with Luke Snyder last year when I met up with Luke Snyder in Hartford, Connecticut, Luke Snyder even said it when I asked him about Bushwhack. Hey, you put these bulls out here, sooner or later they're going to get ridden. You know, these guys are going to figure them out, and sooner or later they're going to get ridden. Well, you know something? I think they're starting to figure out Asteroid a little bit. The problem with Asteroid is, if you watch the ride, when his hind goes up, his head's almost hitting the ground. That's kind of, and he's spinning. So, I mean, you know, you're watching it right here. That's Asteroid. That's why he's such a, a, a hot bull to ride. He's spinning, he's vertical, and he's spinning. It, it, it's hard to stay on a bull like that. And I talked about him long enough so you can see the slow motion on the video so you can see what I was talking about. So, 6.7 seconds, you know, hey. You know, Justin, you, you you did you did a great job. I I, I got to give you it to you. You know, an excellent job on the back of asteroid. Brings us to number one, Douglas Duncan. Douglas Duncan. 
back in Baltimore after the Baltimore event. He didn't make the cut. Comes back as an alternate in Atlanta. An alternate again. Douglas Duncan. Scored a 90 and a quarter points on the back of Hebe Jeebe. He gets perfect poison. Perfect poison is a tough bull. That's why the number one guy got him. He's a tough bull. I'm going to tell you right now. Douglas Duncan comes out of that shoot, pulls off that bull, four seconds. Didn't last long. So now you're sitting there like, hold on a second. Only two completed rides. The second guy that you mentioned, or the fourth guy that you mentioned, Chase Outlaw, the little 19-year-old kid, ends up winning this thing. Chase Outlaw. Who's Chase Outlaw? I don't even think the PBI has a picture of him on PBI.com yet. I went to look for to see what the kid looks like. They don't even have a picture of him. They got the blacked out cowboy picture. You know, when he's the cowboy in the shadows picture. That's, that means they don't have your picture yet. Chase out Lawrence ends up winning this thing. So here's your event, your event standings right here. The 19-year-old, Chase Outlaw, with 168 and three-quarter points average, ends up winning it. Michael Gucci, the other rookie. I'm telling you, watch this Michael Gucci kid. He's going to be a world champion. He might not be world champion this year, but he's, he's going to be a world champion very quickly and at a very young age. And this kid didn't even want to ride bulls. He's a city kid from, from Brazil. Didn't even want to ride bulls. Michael Gucci, number two. Douglas Duncan, the guy. This is what I'm telling you. Houston was full of surprises this week. The guy that got, he, the PBS said bye to him back after the Baltimore, comes back as an alternate the last two weeks, makes it to the Fort Bill Tough round both weeks. I don't know, maybe it's distress. Maybe he doesn't have to worry about it anymore. Douglas Duncan comes in number, th uh, comes in third. Justin Kuhn, then fortunate soul on the back of Asteroid, is fourth. Stormy Wing, he picked Asteroid last week, but he gets bucked off another bull this week, rock and roll. He comes in fifth. Then you got Chris Shivers on his final farewell tour, comes in sixth. Renato Nunes comes in seventh. J.P. Mooney, he rolled number one, eighth. Savano Alves, last year's world champion, is ninth. And Jory Marcus comes in tenth. 